today we are making pizza, but there is one rule we cannot make any waste. I'm Ari, I make environmental content here at BuzzFeed, and I try my best to live zero waste. I'm a pretty basic chef, I make like a lot of plant-based meals. I have never made a pizza, and I'm going to be asking you lots of questions yeah. if that's okay. <laughs> yeah, of course. Pizza is very simple. It's flour, water, yeast, and salt, and sugar. I think we can make little waste as possible. Food waste is not necessarily bad, but for the sake of this challenge, we're going to try to make no waste. If you want to learn more about sustainability and healthy living, check out Goodful's YouTube channel. I just want to shop for myself here. Not bad, not bad. So I'm thinking about making a simple veggie pizza topped with vegan Parmesan and some ginger crispies. I think because I'm making a pizza without cheese, I really gotta hit you with some other flavors. I think flour is there. I'm going to make margarita pizza because it's such a simple ingredient. Simple ingredients means I don't think I will create a lot of trash. We need oregano. Oh, I found one without a sticker. Oh, okay. I'm going to make pizza dough using bread flour. It has more gluten, so right. it has a kind of chewy texture. So oil is something that's hard to find zero waste. So we did end up having to purchase glass container of oil, which we can recycle, but it's not completely zero waste. So instead of regular cheese, I'm making vegan Parmesan with cashews and nutritional yeast from the bulk bins. Margarita pizza has mozzarella cheese. Mozzarella cheese is very difficult to make. Okay, I think we should go more boiling water. Mmm, mother of pearl! So I'm gonna just buy mozzarella cheese. If you go to cheese shop, I have a feeling they might sell it in a bulk. Can I ask you a question? Do you guys sell mozzarella cheese? Mozzarella? Mm -hmm. like Pre-packaged? Uh, not pre-packaged, like something. Yeah, it's from our deli. We'll package it. Oh, cool, cool. We have a container. We ask the shop staff. They were a little bit hesitant. People aren't really used to you asking to put things in your own container, but as long as you're friendly and nice, it usually works out. And that's exactly what we did. We got it. <laughs> Good job, Ari. <laughs> And I'm so excited to make dough. I've never made dough. Yay! So first, we're gonna activate yeast. And unfortunately, here's our count of one waste. Ooh! Okay, you can already see, like, bubble. We are going to put salt and olive oil for the yeast mixture right in there. Oh, and I can really smell it. So we have to knead it in order to get that nice chew. It's really wet. Yeah. <laughs> so like what you're looking for is when you poke the finger, it should be bouncing back. This is very satisfying. Mm -hmm. I feel like I got extra skin. Ooh. That was a good jump. Yeah. This is gross ball. <laughs> so I want to get a new ball with olive oil and okay. rest it for a few hours. We're going to just put it in a warm, comfy place for our baby. Oh, <laughs> so cute. Bye, yeast, dough baby. baby. Oh, yeah. Okay. I named that dough Dobby. Dobby? Yeah. That's cute. <laughs> we got our dough. So, we are going to punch the dough, release the gas, we shape punch it. it. Yeah. So, okay. it creates a bunch of gas inside. Mm -hmm. So, you kind of want to release the gas. Oh, this is so satisfying. And we are going to reshape it. We release the gas. We are making two pizza. So I'm going to cut in half. We are going to like reshape the dough, kind of close the seam. You just like want to make really cute. Wow, yours is so nice. <laughs> Our dough boys. Yay. So we're gonna Bye. just rest it. We get to take a nap now. One hour nap. I made pizza before, but I've never made pizza sauce like with fresh tomato. Most recipes for pizza sauce call for a can of tomato sauce. And so we're trying to just take the tomatoes and make our own sauce. And I'm hoping that it'll taste good, but I'm a little worried. All washed. We did it. We're cutting tomato half. We are going to cover with olive oil and put 
salt and pepper. What do you think we can do to have like that rich tomato paste flavor? If we roast it low and slow, it will develop kind of a concentrated flavor. So I'm hoping salt bay over here. Do you want to do it? Do you want no. salt bay? <laughs> <laughs> so now we are going to roast the tomatoes. Now we're gonna make your cheese. I wanna see how you make it because okay. I've never made vegan cheese before. So I'm gonna be using nooch, which is a deactivated yeast from molasses. And it's really high in like B vitamins. It has like a really deep cheesy flavor. And cashews, garlic powder, and salt to make our Parmesan. Guess we'll try it. Yeah. Oh wow. It's good. It almost tastes like cheese. <laughs> These are my toppings. And this is my ingredient. Ooh. Just one. Jeez. <laughs> I'm going to be sauteing all these vegetables. I'm done. Oh, wow. <laughs> Can I help you? Oh, if you want, yeah. yeah. Food waste I don't worry as much about because it's an organic matter and it decomposes over time, whereas plastic can take up to 450 years to break down. What? So I really try to avoid plastic because wow. that really stays in our environment. And also, only 9% of plastic actually gets recycled. And now I'm crying because I'm cutting onions. You are. So like really, you know, try not to make plastic, guys. <laughs> I'm going to make tomato sauce and we are going to make the topping. I sauteed onion and this is roasted tomato. We roasted at 300 for one hour. It's gonna be our pizza sauce. I hope it's enough for both of us. I hope so too, we'll have to divvy it up. <laughs> right, I hope it works. It's still missing a little bit that deep flavor, but it has kind of sweet and like fresh flavor I like. Yeah. So we can do it. We don't need a canned tomato. Woo. Now we're gonna shape the dough. So put some flour on the surface. Take the dough. Ooh, it feels even more different than before. Mm -hmm. It's like more fragile or something. It's cool. So you're gonna push and kind of shape like a pizza shape. So I'm kind of doing like ripple. My pizza has a little bit thicker crust on the outside. So I'm stretching center part more than the outer side. Make it fancy. Let's put the topping. Yay, let's dress these pizzas. Mm -hmm. Looks like pizza sauce. I'm pretty proud of us. I'm going to put mozzarella cheese. Okay, I'm gonna put on my toppings. I have quite a lot of toppings. So we'll see if it breaks apart in the oven. Oh, nice. You can just drop it. <laughs> okay, man, okay, that's not so bad. Now we're gonna put it in the oven. I'm heating baking sheet upside down, so creating really hot surface. It's kind of like searing steak. Ooh, it looks so good. A beautiful baby is out of the oven. <laughs> Can I say that? Pizza is out from the oven. I'm going to garnish with fresh basil. You want to put basil after pizza is baked because you kind of want to have a like nice fresh basil flavor. The finishing touch. We did it! Yay! Our pizza looks beautiful. In my pizza, it's just like very simple straightforward pizza, but this is how I like it. So at the beginning, I was really nervous about making pizza from scratch because I haven't done that before, but it was just so fun to make with Rie and she's so knowledgeable. I think the pizzas turned out really great. So I'm really impressed with the amount of waste that we created. Zero waste just means trying to send as little as possible to landfill. It doesn't mean trying to be perfect and not making any trash because that's impossible. I'm excited to try. I have no idea what this tastes like. Let's eat. Yes. So. So let's bring our friends over and have them taste it. <laughs> I made a classic margarita. We're all just watching. <laughs> yeah. I, love. I love a good fluffy crust. Mm. Mm. <laughs> I love it. Yay. It's so fresh. The tomatoes are really fresh. Very good pizza. <laughs> Very good. Great yeah. job. Great job, guys. Well done. Pizza. Pizza. <laughs> 
So no pizza box, I guess.